Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to assign properties to structural geometry. In this video, we're going to show you how to assign the master slave specification in order to simulate a rigid diaphragm. We will now turn our attention to our sample model. Now, in preparation for assigning specifications, we're going to go to our workflow page control area and select the specifications page. And you're going to notice that the specification tab in the ribbon toolbar is automatically become, going to become active for us. Now, the master slave specification can be used to tie certain nodes together. And we're going to use this option in order to simulate a rigid diaphragm in our STAD Pro model, which will basically make all of our nodes in that particular level kind of move and rotate together. Now, to make this process a little bit easier, it might be helpful to go ahead and turn on your node points and your node labels. So we're going to go to our View tab in our ribbon toolbar, and we'll click on the Node Labels icon. Also, on your keyboard, you can go ahead and hit Shift-K, which will also turn on your node points. Now, we're going to be simulating a rigid diaphragm at this particular level of the structure. So the first thing we need to do is identify what our master node is going to be. Now, I'm typically for my master node, when I'm simulating a rigid diaphragm, I'm going to set, select something kind of towards the center of the mass of my level. So I'm going to go ahead and select node 70 for this exercise. Now that I'm set up, I'm going to go back up to my ribbon toolbar and select my specification tab. And I'm going to find my node option. And I'm going to tell the program I want to add a master slave specification. Now I've identified my master node as node number 70. So I need to select that node here. The next thing I need to do is I need to select my slaved direction. Now this is going to be simulating a rigid diaphragm, which is basically going to be a horizontal diaphragm locking in that plane. So I'm going to select the horizontal plane, my ZX plane, and we'll click the Add button. Now you're going to notice that our specification has been added to the specifications dialog. Now that we've created our master slave specification, we now need to assign it to the nodes for which it's applicable. So we're going to start by highlighting this specification in the specifications dialog. Now at times it might be simpler to make a selection by taking a look at a different perspective. So let's go up to the View tab in the Ribbon Toolbar, and let's take a look at an elevation. We can select any of these elevation icons. Now we can see very clearly where the nodes are for this particular level. So we're next going to go to our Select menu bar item, and select our Nodes cursor, and we're going to grab all of the nodes at this upper level. So let's go ahead and select all of them now, and they're going to turn red once they're selected. Now to make sure you've made the proper selection, you can go back to your View tab and take a look at an isometric view. And we can see that we selected all of the nodes at that upper level. We're going to make sure our assignment method is turned to assign to selected nodes. And then we'll click on our Assign button and confirm the operation with Yes. Now, if you'd like to see this assignment after you create it, you can go up to the View tab in your ribbon and select your Label Settings icon. And here we can go ahead and turn on your master slave specification. And we can see all of the nodes that have been tied to node 70. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.